Hey, it's Monday. The giveaway for the Fox Body 5 liter Mustang GT ends this Wednesday. Click the link in the description, whynotyougear.com, buy a mug or digital download, and get entered to win this ice white Fox Body Mustang just in time for the holidays. Click the link on the description, whynotyougear.com. And now, a car that's the exact opposite of an American V8. <laughs> Floppy 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 Let's talk about PA dubbers, uh. a subset of car culture unique to Pennsylvania. North and South Carolina has their truck squatters. LA and Miami have hydraulic lowriders. Vermont has OG Subi culture. Utah has balloon tire rock crawlers. Hotlanta has supercars still stunting. But Pennsylvania has... P.A. Dubbers. Ugh. Here's how you join. Number one, buy the shittiest example of a Volkswagen product you can. Number two, work on it enough to pass inspection at a lick and stick inspection station. Number three, replace missing interior trim or upholstery from wherever you can steal it. Number four, sell weed to a cop from Nutripoli. Number five, if your Volkswagen product unfortunately is guilty of being new and clean and modern, well... Number six, take off the hood, quarter panel, passenger door, or trunk lid. Buzz all the paint off with a wire wheel attached to a quarter cable electric right angle grinder, and then piss, 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 piss. Your way to rusty street cred, an infected sheets parking lot pussy. Number seven, get a job at Rita's Italian Ice and deal heroin out in the open. Addendums, make sure you are never responsible for your own actions. Blast Eminem like it's 2005. I am whoever you say I am. Overtalk women. Feel entitled to sex. Drive your Volkswagen fast to outrun the memories of childhood trauma. And your opiate-addicted youth pastor. Arr, I drive a diesel Volkswagen rabbit. I wake up in time to swagger outside and shout at the mail carrier, That's right! Walk away! I tell the person checking out at sheets in front of me, That's right! Walk away! I wait patiently for a larger man to finish his tricep pushdowns before whispering, That's right. Walk away. I weigh 135 pounds despite taking the same gear as the Liver King. I overfuel my four-cylinder diesel and mimic my pumpkin face father's disgust with life. If I don't try, I'll never lose. What's the point? It's all going to hell anyway. I'm going to drink essential everyday nighttime cough and cold and go to work at cursing mumble towing and recovery. Yeah, that's my dad. Time to drive my 1980s Volkswagen while holding my quick release steering wheel out the driver's window all flopping around because... You think I'm a dirtbag? Well, then I'm gonna act like a dirtbag. I'll never volunteer in my own community. I'm never picking up trash. I am whatever you say I am. I hate every single teacher I ever had. I'd rather be angry. If everything's f then we're all equal. But if I embark on a journey of self-discovery, it means I'm beta. Even though... The exhaust is smoky, and the mechanical fuel injectors are barfing. This classic mini truck 
still gets 40 miles a gallon. But man, this is slow. It's Nissan POW slow. It's Ford Courier slow. It's, uh-oh, a hill. Time to put the four-ways on. It steers like a 16-bit video game, you know. Left a bit, not enough. Left, left, too much. Left, 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 oh, got too much. Right, 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 right. And the brakes, same deal. Not much, not much, not much. Is there anything here? All oh, the wheels lock up. Rip for my pleasure. Well, there's gears down there somewhere. It doesn't like first gear, so just pull out in the second. And oh, street cred. I'm a PA dubber. Oh. 1982 Volkswagen Rabbit pickup truck. Hey, it's the dad from earlier. My name is Fred Fordhauser, and my family tree is a wreath. Merry Christmas. All the stockings are crispy. I'm a PA dubber, too. Uh, and I drive a Volkswagen rabbit truck. I got a PPP loan. I didn't use any of it to pay back my child support. I'm Fred Forthauser. Now this Volkswagen Rabbit pickup sports a 1.6 liter naturally aspirated diesel making, you ready for this? 48 horsepower and 56 foot pounds of torque. You got a five-speed manual transmission to make the most of it. Gage initially bought this off of a 17-year-old who had planned to make it a daily driver but gave up after recognizing how useless this thing is past 55 miles an hour. And he was left to replace the headers, among other mods like the Solo Works coilovers and the lower drop plates. And, and this stack. The smell, of the, the smell of this truck gives Gage headaches, but I guess that's the price he has to pay. That's eh, a nice trade-off for only having to pay $8 a month in insurance. And this is the only bed length available. So I don't know what you're going to haul with this other than a freshly shot dough that you needed 12 rounds to drop or a Sony back projection television or a Sony CRT television. The wheelbase is only 9 inches longer than the Rabbit sedan and it has a mechanical fuel injection pump like a World War II fighter plane which feeds into the tactile, low-tech vibe of a compact truck from a time before multimedia integration was a thing. The only entertainment was the drive and the fumes. On the plus side, you can run virtually anything through this engine. Motor oil, vegetable oil, stripper saliva, the dream of home ownership, whatever you want. Volkswagen Rabbit Pickup. Sponsored by having unprotected sex with a gum-smacking e-girl who thinks Alex Jones had some good ideas. And then you go hydrate with some brown municipal tap water. Alright, so the history. The history of this truck starts with Chrysler. Chrysler decided they need to churn out more product in the 60s, so what better place to take a dump than rural Pennsylvania. So they bought a thousand acre plot in New Stanton, which is about 40 minutes outside Pittsburgh and built nearly a 3 million square foot production facility to crank out Chrysler 300s and New Yorkers and whatever the hell else Chrysler was making back then that had people nursing the gas pedal in the passing lane. But Chrysler randomly decided to back out, which didn't really hurt their bottom line at all, although it nearly killed the town. New Stanton paid out the ass for infrastructure to support the facility with the expectation of a bunch of jobs being created. Instead, they got an eyesore that nobody used for eight years. So enter Volkswagen, who were trying to find a U.S. assembly plant to capitalize on whatever buzz they had off of the success of the Beetle. So they bought the plant and started churning out rabbits like some kind of animal known for a lot. The rabbit sedan didn't really hit with American sensibilities, but the pickup version was a lot more our speed, even though it was slower than Continental Drift. It did well for a time and sold nearly 40,000 units in 1981. But just two years later, it barely broke 2,000 units. It eventually discontinued for the same reason compact pickup trucks died in North America in the 1980s. Size matters to Americans, 
all the more when gas prices don't, since we were past the oil crisis and people felt they could comfortably guzzle gas again. Plus the chicken tax! The full-size pickup was becoming an institution, leaving little room for a truck with little room. Production stopped in 83, and they just sort of spent the next two years getting rid of the rabbits they had left, like a liquidated pet store. By 1985, only two rabbits were sold. And the plant? Well, Volkswagen sales bottomed out in the late 80s. It was announced that the plant would be sold to the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, where it sat for a few years until Sony decided it'd make a great place to assemble televisions. And that's what they did until it was shut down in 2008. The new Stanton assembly plant has been dormant ever since. Still the largest block of unused commercial real estate in Pennsylvania. Meanwhile, the rabbit had a minor resurgence in popularity in South Africa, but as a commercial van. But here in Pennsylvania, it still exists as a chariot for PA dubbers. Oh!